I'm Bill Peterson, Minnesota estate planning attorney. After a divorce, many people are going to feel challenged by the circumstances of their new situation. Now, even for couples who split up after the children had left the home, it can still be very much a life-changing event for all of the people involved. As the property and possessions are divided up according to the divorce decree, many folks are going to turn their thoughts to their children and their children's future. Once the divorce process has been completed, it's important to relook at your estate plan. Now, your estate plan may include your will, your health care directive, or sometimes called living will, your HIPAA authorization, the power of attorney that you may have uh, signed previously, and maybe even a trust. Minnesota law deals with single persons different from married couples when it comes to the estate. The process for rewriting an estate plan after a divorce can be quite simple. In a typical divorce proceeding, the assets of the couple are tallied up and then divided. With this information already complete, creating the estate plan can be a pretty straightforward process. The next step after the divorce is to meet with an experienced estate planning attorney who can draft the appropriate documents now that your ex-husband or ex-wife is no longer a beneficiary. Well, what happens if you do not rewrite your estate plan after a divorce? The state of Minnesota may decide how to distribute your assets after you pass away. Now, each divorce is unique unto itself and the way that the legislature has assumed that you may want to distribute your assets may really not be the way that you intended. Secondly, if you have minor children, there is the possibility that any assets that you may leave them may, be, may become under the administration of your ex-spouse if your ex-spouse has custody of the children after you pass away. If this happens, that former husband or former wife may have different ideas on how to handle the assets for the benefit of the children. Thirdly, the estate planning documents that you have may have become rather old and out of date. It's a good idea to review them periodically in any event. Now, especially when it comes to your health care directive or HIPAA authorization or your will, it is important that those documents are up to date. If your health care directive or the other documents have people listed that no longer live near you or have passed away themselves or maybe people that you really don't want to have making those decisions, it is very helpful to review those documents and consider whether you want to make some changes. So after a divorce, it's a good time to review your financial standing, determine your assets, and if necessary, to rewrite your estate plan. The peace of mind that comes with knowing that your estate is the way that you want it and your children are protected is very valuable at a time like this. You should speak with an experienced estate planning attorney soon after the divorce proceedings to make sure that you and your loved ones are taken care of. I'm Bill Peterson, Minnesota estate planning attorney. If you or someone you love has recently gone through a divorce and are concerned about that estate, I can help. Call me toll free from anywhere in Minnesota or across the country at 1-888-910-5297 for a free no obligation consultation.
Thank you, and have a great day.